He'd already been deported five times when he was accused of killing Kate Steinle as she walked with her father along a San Francisco pier two summers ago. But Jose Inez Garcia Zarate has been found not guilty of murder and manslaughter in a trial that ignited the issue of illegal immigration for people in California and around the country. Feels like the verdict could have been harsher. Someone might have dropped the ball on the prosecution side. Following the acquittal, defense attorney Matt Gonzalez condemned the way the case was politicized by President Trump and Attorney General Jeff Sessions. And they may themselves soon avail themselves of the presumption of innocence and the beyond a reasonable doubt standard. And so I would ask them to reflect on that before they comment or disparage the result in this case. President Trump then tweeted a disgraceful verdict. No wonder the people of our country are so angry with illegal immigration and he spoke of the 32 year old victim while campaigning for president last year another victim is Kate Steinle gunned down in the sanctuary city of San Francisco. At the time Steinle was shot in the back, Garcia Zarate had recently been released from the San Francisco jail, but under its sanctuary city policies, he was not turned over to immigration authorities. In court, his defense argued he found the gun under a bench on the pier and fired accidentally. As word of the not guilty verdict spread, a white supremacist group decorated a bench with red roses, candles, and Kate's picture, along with a poster and messages like another Reason we need a wall now, and you're not here because someone who wasn't supposed to be was. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. And Garcia Zarate was found guilty of illegal possession of a firearm and is set to once again be deported.